Hi, my name is Caitlin Hamilton and I'm the Communications Manager here at the University of Edinburgh Business School. I have the great pleasure of being joined today by Teo and we're going to be talking about his research and more importantly, the impact that comes as a result of this. So Teo, welcome. Please do introduce yourself. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, I am Teodor Kojoyanu. I am an Associate Professor in Sustainable Finance here at the Business School. Thank you, Teo. So a nice, easy question to ease you in. Can you please summarise what your research is all about? So my research is concerned um, with uh, studying finance and its contribution to sustainable development. That is certainly one side of the coin. Uh, the reason that is important is because we're having all these societal challenges like climate change, like biodiversity loss, so there's an active question on where the financial sector can really make a difference. The other side of the coin is how are these challenges impacting the financial sector and the pension schemes, insurance and so on. As we know, they, the change itself poses significant risks to uh, financial markets. And if I could ask you more specifically what you think the impact of your research has been? One concrete example is through our engagement on the EU platform on sustainable finance, which is an advisory body to the European Commission looking to design and has been designing live legislation for um, environmental disclosure uh, for companies around the EU. So perhaps the biggest impact was really taking our research and bringing it into the context of this advisory body looking to clarify, first of all, through a green taxonomy, which industries are green, or in which actually which economic activities are green. Very impressive to hear about the kind of policy and the legislation forming there. Um, can I ask you though, what you think or you hope the benefits of this, this impact will be? Sure. The, the biggest benefit is that of providing clarity to institutional investors uh, in Europe but also around the world. And that clarity is concerned with clarity of greenness. What do we mean by green? Um, what do we mean by sustainable? And how do I, let's say, vote with my money? And that is really important because anyone in the European Union who wants to sell a green sustainable, sustainable investment product will have to abide, um, abide to these rules. So I think that's you know, highly important and also highly beneficial. And um, can I ask how you think that this, this work and the impact that you're having will kind of shape future continued research that you're hoping to undertake? Sure, well, we're hoping that this new legislation would really spur a lot of thinking on what do we really need to solve climate change, to solve biodiversity loss, to solve, uh, well, to ensure pollution prevention and to say in which conditions do these financial services actors are actually making a difference. Is it by owning a share of the company or is it by putting conditions on the debt side? How do these complex dynamics work out and how is the economy of tomorrow and to 2050 delivered so that we solve in parallel these, these big, big challenges we're facing? Wonderful, Teo. It's been lovely chatting to you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me.